Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So already in our previous video we started discussion on FOST which is widely used for Kafka stream processing in Python. So today in this particular video let us try to understand how parallelism happens in case of FOST application, right? So just a quick recap how actually FOST works. So here we are having our input topic. Right, producer is continuously producing data in this input topic, and from this input topic, our Kafka stream processor application that can be written in FOST that is continuously consuming the data, messaging the data, or applying certain transformation on the data or curating the data, and after that filtered, processed, curated data, it is writing in an output topic. From that output topic, the consumers are consuming and writing in some external application, right? Now, how parallel processing happens in this particular place, that let us try to understand. Because if you see here, in this particular place, from input topic, our first application is consuming the data. So, it is acting like a consumer and while studying the Kafka consumer in detail, we already explored that, suppose a Kafka topic is having three partitions, then we can start three consumers, right, under the same consumer group. So one consumer will consume from one partition, another will consume from another partition, another will consume from another partition, like that parallelism is maintained, right? Now, is that same concept is applicable in this place consumer also? Because ultimately here, first is also acting like a consumer. That let us try to observe, okay? So the answer is yes, that Kafka topic partitioning helps the first application to parallelly process the data. And how it works? Like for example, Suppose here we are having our input topic and that topic has two partitions, okay. Here I can give the name as P1 and this name is P2. Now here using worker we start our first application, right. If you recall the command, there we start the worker. So here I am writing worker1. So what will happen, this is our worker which is started. Now within worker we configure agent, right. If you recall at the rate agent like that we configure what is the function definition which is processing the data all those things so worker run basically agent right now because as of now for this particular first application only one worker is running so what will happen this will only consume the data from both the partitions from this particular topic but suppose what will happen that another worker we are launching for the same first application in some other port then maybe for example here we are launching our worker 2 right and with that same code so agent is same ultimately for both the workers just another instance we are launching for the same application then what will happen because we are having two workers and in this case we are having two partitions so this particular worker 1 which earlier was consuming data from both the partitions now it will consume from only one partition so this will be going away and maybe this partition p2 data our this worker 2 or another instance of worker what we just now spent up that will start consuming okay so in the back end same concept of kafka consumer parallel processing is implemented that is as soon as for a particular first application another worker instance spins up then internally rebalancing happens and then after rebalancing the work get distributed okay so as of now you can see in this situation we are having two partitions for this topic and that's why two worker agent we can spin up at max because if we spin up one more worker agent then it will be sitting ideal for that particular first application because only one worker can consume the data from one partition within a particular first application same like our consumer only one consumer under a consumer group can consume a particular partition from our Kafka topic right and the maximum number of consumers in consumer group can be equal to total number of partitions in the topic. So that same concept is applicable here also. And the rebalancing also happens in the back end. For example, suppose this worker agent goes down due to some reason, then automatically the P1 traffic will be consumed by the worker 2 again. And then again when our worker 1 will spin up, then again instead of P1 traffic going to worker 2, it will start coming to worker 1. Like that actually parallel processing happens in the consumer side, okay. So I hope you understood this particular concept because this is quite familiar with our Kafka consumer parallel processing. Now without any further delay, 
let us try to observe this particular phenomenon in real time okay that is we will write a code and we will see whether the traffic is getting distributed among the workers of the same first application or not right so let's switch to our pycharm so here what i will do i have opened my pycharm i have created two python file one is main.py which is acting like a consumer and here we are having our producer.py okay so let me go through the code what we are going to run so obviously we need to first start our kafka cluster so to start first i will run the zookeeper command and then here i will start the broker command okay and then here what i will do i will start a kafka topic okay if you see the topic name is hello world 5 i am giving you can give any name and for this parallel processing demo at least we should be having more than one partition so i am keeping partition count as 2 as of now okay so here you see the topic is created perfect now what i will do let me go through the python code which i will run as producer so here to produce the data we are using kafka python module that is kafka producer we are importing from kafka python and import time and json.dumps all these things we are importing now here we are running a custom partitioner okay what is the partitional logic already we discussed while covering the fundamental concepts of producer that here if you see the key part we are dividing by total number of partitions available in our topic and the remainder based on that we are moving to different different partitions so suppose for example we are having here two partitions right now in this case if the key is even then the remainder will be zero so it will be going to partition zero but if the key is odd it will be going to partition one because ultimately we are having two partition only so based on that we have defined our custom partitioner and here we have created our producer instance which is pointing to our broker url localhost 9092 where it is running right in our local system and partitioner we are defining this custom partitioner the topic name hello world 5 just now what we created that we have written here and then here we are running a for loop we are sending the data in this topic using this custom partitioner okay as simple as that so let me just copy this particular producer code and let me paste that here okay save this cool now what i will do i will go to consumer so our consumer is a simple first application if you see what we are doing here we are creating a first application with the name demo streaming it is basically subscribing to this particular topic hello world 5 and value type we are keeping a string only value serialization raw very simple thing i am keeping obviously you can switch to complex types all these things you can implement but just for simple demo we are basically taking this string type and raw serialization because ultimately our goal is to fill the concept of parallel processing in case of first application okay right and here within this particular agent here we are defining our stream processor here we are iterating in this for loop which will continuously consume the data from input stream which is kind of acting like a consumer and here it is printing that receive the message as simple as that okay so here what i will do i will copy this code and i will paste in our consumer section right so both are ready pretty much i will open two more window so here what i will do in this window i will start my first application so if you see here i am starting first a main worker l info so i am starting one worker for our this particular first application okay right so here it will take some time to start and see worker is ready okay now what i will do i will start my producer so here let me give this skip time as one maybe and then here let's run our producer application so i started running the code now if you see the terminal here for our this particular first instance all the numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 like that all are getting received by one single instance of our first application or one single worker because as of now only one worker is up and running right but actually in our this particular topic there are two partition so we have option of increasing the degree of parallelism and increasing the efficiency so what we can do we have a scope 
that we can launch another worker for our same application so i will start another worker and then we will observe what is happening okay so here we are starting worker just we need to start in a different port that's the only thing if you are starting multiple worker instance of same first application in a same machine then just you have to change the port because already the default port is used by this particular application so let's start another first application and as of now if you see within this worker node all the even and odd number all are coming okay 56 57 58 59 60 all even and odd are coming but as soon as i will start another worker instance then even and odd data will be distributed because in the producer side when we are producing the data all the even data points are going to one partition and all the odd data points are going to another partition why because here we are dividing the key by two okay so whatever is even number that will go to partition zero because that is having no remainder and whatever is having odd number as key those will go to partition one because after dividing by two we will be getting remainder one as simple as that okay so here i am setting another worker instance for the same first application here see it received even number okay one one four one one six one one eight like that so the same numbers will not be consumed by our this application see now this particular application which earlier was consuming both even and odd number now it is consuming only odd number that means the work is getting distributed among our two worker instance one worker instance that is the first one which was running since beginning that is only consuming from partition one because in partition one all the odd numbers are going right so you see here all the odd numbers are coming and all the even numbers are getting consumed by our second worker instance for the same first application what we started and that way parallelism is happening suppose for example due to some reason this particular first instance goes down then what will happen all the odd numbers also will be consumed by this worker instance only we will see that so see as of now all are even consumed by the second instance and all are odd which are consumed by the first instance what i will do i will just stop this particular instance okay now let's go back to there and see here now as soon as that first worker instance went down if you see the logs here basically commit of offset happened and after that see all the data points what it is consuming it is having even number as well as odd number see 177 is odd number then 178 like that now it is consuming all the records whatever our producer is producing right now suppose for example i am starting that up again then what will happen again internally rebalancing will happen might be this time this particular first application if you see here this time this has started consuming the even numbers okay so this particular first application will consume only odd numbers okay see 21527 all the odd numbers is consuming whereas this newly pinned up first application is consuming all the even numbers so like that overall parallel processing is happening so you can remember in simple words that how many partitions we are having for a topic that many worker we can launch in different different ports and they will internally rebalance and distribute their work of consumption of data from the topic to which it has subscribed okay as simple as that and the concept is same like our kafka consumer parallel processing if you have went through that then i hope you found it very simple anyway i will be providing the prerequisite links also in the description box for your reference so that you can easily understand and able to connect with this particular concept so this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching